that's a good question. I don't think that that's the only okay. yardstick necessarily for that. Okay. Like, I, I think the you know the 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 amount of margin that or the amount of throughput that you can get per square foot is an is an important metric, and it's it's significantly higher in places where there is a either a huge massive bottleneck where there's a huge mass of crowds that are coming in mm -hmm. uh, at, in a very short period of time so like you know stadiums or airports or right. even universities like you know the, the time between classes is a very small time the time between your flight is small the time between you know you're spending time at a at a game or not seeing the game or seeing the game is actually very small so like those in in those cases the amount of throughput that you can generate is very very um, amenable to this to, to just walk out and, and we see that time and time again like retailers see that the the reason I say that is because it's a completely new experience right so for retailers to say that I want to take whatever I have remove it replace it with this thing is a, is a leap of faith yeah to be honest like and so it but, is, yeah but they start with one and then you know like lumen field is a good example of it they start with one or two and now they have nine you know, the United Center, closer to you all, is like, you know, they start with, they started with one or two, and now they have seven. Right. So I think a, a good measure Pretty of good success measure. is this, or like, you know, Hudson, the airport, they start with a few, and now they have like many more, is that they see the throughput, they see the value. And then they say that even in the same location, the interesting thing is that even in a stadium in the same location, they don't tend to cannibalize each other because the willingness of people to walk from section 315 to 322 yeah. is really really low so they find that they introduce a store it increases throughput in that location they introduce another one you know six sections away or three sections away and both go up and they continue to go up just a lot and so but when you but when you look at when you look at grocery stores and other kinds of things it's a considered trip like somebody's sort of yeah. already driving they don't get they're not like they are they are reasonably consistent in um, it, it still has peaks, but they're reasonably consistent in the amount of traffic that they're getting. So it's not as if so, and they can plan yeah. for it to a large degree. Unlike and and they have a little bit of leeway to be able to say that well, you know, you have either you have a lot of self checkout machines or you have a lot of um, associates helping or cashiers that uh, lanes that are open. So there's more levers that you have in a. Um, in a grocery store than if you have a, in a very constrained footprint. Right. You can't add that many point of sale or you can't mm -hmm. add as many self, they just don't right. have the square footage in an airport or a- Right, the puts and takes are bigger when you start making those chain- those, Deal with it. Those, those, or you start trying to answer those questions, exactly. right?